Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are doing a different kind of video. I have never seen this done, but then again, I haven't really checked. <laughs> I haven't seen this done by any of the Sims YouTubers that I watch on the daily, but I thought this was a good idea. We were talking in my Discord and we were talking about having babies with Patchy and we were talking about having babies with Grim Reaper. And then I was like, wait, what if I made a video where a sim had a baby with each of like the mystical creatures in the game? So I made a list. I'm not even really sure what to call this video yet, but this is what I came up with. So we're going to have a baby with Grim Reaper. We're going to have a baby with Patchy. We're going to have a baby with Santa, the Easter Bunny. We're going to have a baby with a vampire and an alien. And if I could find a plant sim, that would be awesome, but I haven't seen any walking around in my game, like, ever. And aren't they supposed to be green? I don't even know. But if we come across one, then we'll have a baby with one. If not, then we'll have to uh, turn someone into a plant sim. So I doubt I'm going to be able to do this in one episode, so I'm thinking we make like a little mini series out of this, which I think would be super, super fun. So since this isn't going to be the first and last video, maybe you guys can leave me some comments and let me know if I missed any of the mystical creatures in the game. If so, I will add them to the list. I'm just really excited to see what the kid is gonna like look like after, how they're gonna turn out, which one is the most good looking, which one is the ugliest. I'm just excited and I hope you guys are too. Again, if you're new here, I'm Savannah. I have so much Sims content on my channel. If you would like to check that out, that would mean the world to me. All right, enough chit chat. Let's get started on this video. Okay, so here we are in Create a Sim. I actually found this Sim on the gallery under my hashtag. Her name is Brenna Ayala. And let me see who created her so I can give them a proper shout out. Okay, this is Brenna. And she was made by Maria Lamajo. And this is the hair that she had, but I wanted to change the hair just because we've used this hair so much in my legacy challenge. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to do something new, so that's why I changed the hair, but thank you so much, Maria, for making me this absolutely beautiful sim. She's got such, like, a Latina vibe, and <sighs> I'm living for it. She has, like, the cutest nose as well, so thank you for making me this beautiful sim. I appreciate it so much. Uh, I'll show you guys her outfits. This is one of them. This is the other. I love this velvet texture that this creator managed to get on this tank top. Mmm! I love me a good texture in The Sims. Uh, you guys have seen that one already. This is her formal wear. It's very, very formal. That's like a wedding dress, but whatever. <laughs> Here's her active wear, her sleep wear, basic, her party wear. I love this outfit, it's so cute. Her swim wear, her hot weather. This skirt though is everything. It's so festive. And then here's her cold weather outfit, which I live for a long coat. You guys know I put like all of my girl sims in long coats, so no surprise there that there's another long coat. <laughs> okay, let's get into some gameplay then. So in order to summon the Grim Reaper, we'll have to kill someone. Um, not really sure who or what yet. We need to buy Apache, it needs to be Winterfest so that Santa can come around, and then it also needs to be Easter so the Easter Bunny comes. We need to find a vampire, an alien, and a plant sim. Okay, where do we want to live? What town do I rarely play in? I'm thinking maybe we should live where there's like a lot of hustle and bustle, so we can see people walking by. Um, uh, it's probably not a good idea to be tucked away in a corner somewhere. <laughs> I just, let's um, do a lot in Windenburg in like the town square area. Um, yeah, let's bulldoze the lot and then let's find something on the gallery. Something cute. Okay. I like this area. It's uh, We're definitely going to see some sims. No doubt about that. Okay, so... Let's find us a house. Like a starter. Um, let's grab this single mom's mid-century by Ev Evelyn. Evelyn, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I watch her on YouTube. She's great. 
Yeah, this is really cute. I'll probably change some stuff later just because I'm stupid and picky, but overall it's a great house. Way better than EA's builds. <laughs> no offense, EA. Okay, well, let's get started. Um, so. So, 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 so. It's a little bit confusing to see everything, but let's assign the bed to her. And, okay. Uh, what season is it? It's spring. So perhaps we should add... Let's go ahead and add a holiday for tomorrow. Um... Yeah, because I don't think Egg Day is automatically on the calendar. You have to add it. And Easter comes after Valentine's Day. So let's add it to Saturday. Add a holiday. Okay, uh, let's do Egg Day. Eggy, eggy, egg day. Change this to bunny. Decoration theme, spring. And what do we do? Egg hunt, barbecue, um, flower bunny. That's pretty much the only thing we need. So I'm just gonna get rid of all this other stuff because I don't want her to get sad that she didn't do it. So the flower bunny is the only thing that matters. And then, oh my gosh, it's gonna take forever to get to winter. I think that there's a way that we could change the duration of the seasons, right? Yeah, seven days is the lowest. Okay, well, we might have to do Santa last then, because we're gonna have to go through an entire year with her, unless we wanna cheat. I don't know, you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments what you think we should do. This, this is bugging me. Okay, much better. <laughs> um, all right, so. Let's buy Apache. That can probably be the first one that we do just because it's the easiest. All right, first things first. Come on over here and get to know him. Make small talk, examine, tell harvest jokes, question ability to scare crows and discuss the birds. Maybe we shouldn't question his ability. He might take offense to that. Sup, Patchy man. Patchy, 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 patchy. Get to know him. Come on, keep talking. Where'd you go? Oh, she's examining him. Okay, she's so pretty. The North Nurks, Inja, Inja, Espa. <laughs> he likes our jokes. Things are going well. Things are going very well. If you guys watch my Legacy series, then you know that Patchy is a big part of it. And I'm still deciding if I want him to have a baby with Olive or not. A lot of you guys are against it just because you feel like if Patchy should end up with someone, it should be Ren. I don't know why I'm talking about my Legacy series in this video. I'm very sorry. Check pockets for seeds. Oh my gosh, look, the relationship bar is completely full. So now we just have to wait for him to come off of his stoop. Stoop, kid's afraid to leave his stoop. Patchy's afraid to leave his stoop. <laughs> oh, so yeah, we'll wait on that. We will wait on that. Are you happy? You happy from Nicely Decorated? What a good girl. Okay, what else do we need? Santa, vampire, alien, plant sim. Okay. Hmm. You know where I've noticed that there are a lot of aliens in Sulani. So perhaps we should go to Sulani. Let's just uh, go on over there, take a gander, see what we could find. That's dangerous. A candle on a shelf like that. That top shelf's definitely gonna burn. <clears throat> Let's head on over to the beach area. In my Island Living series, for some reason, for some reason, <laughs> Solani is like crowded with aliens. It's like the only thing that live there. So. We'll see if it's the same with this save file. What's everyone doing over here? Hmm. 
No, those are all just regular old... Ooh, let's head to the bar, actually. Since it's nighttime. Okay, we're here at the bar. The happiest hour for all cheapskate sims. Everyone enjoys drinks at discounted price. That is what I'm talking about. Oh! Mermaid. That's what I'm missing. So I need to find a merman on the gallery. A couple mermen, actually. And place them in the world. What you ordering? Chips. That's what I'm talking about. Honestly, that's a mood. If they sold- what the- what's your problem? If they sold chips at the bar, I would be so happy. Dag dag, you so tense. Let me tell you a funny story. Let me let me cheer you up a little bit. Come on, tell her a funny story. Discuss favorite band because she loves music. All right, I'm not seeing any aliens. Honestly, I'm confused. They're everywhere in my Island Living series. Oh, now it's bear night? I thought it was cheapskate night. Oh, Salma is hot-headed. That's not a good thing. I don't know where the British accent comes from sometimes. Girl, why did you take a pill? Why did someone offer it to you and you're just freaking giving in to peer pressure? Hmm. Oh well. Come on, give me an alien! It's just a bunch of bears. This is honestly horrifying. When I just figured out that you can click these. <laughs> I never knew that. Oh my gosh, are you drunk? Unbearable from nearby bear. You're fine. Why is that unbearable? Look at she's sitting at a table of bears. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Awkward. Awkward bear. Awkward bear. Talkative bears. Huh. Gosh! Bear Knight's wildin', y'all! I bet some of these are aliens underneath. Well, she made a buttload of friends tonight. That's pretty good, but it is 3 in the morning and she's super, super tired. So perhaps we should just go home and give up the alien hunt for the night. <sighs> I don't know how else to frickin' find an alien. I can either put some male mermaids in the game, or I can make one of the mermaids, uh, the female mermaids. I can make them uh, be able to get others pregnant. You know what? I think we need plants for Patchy to come off, don't we? Otherwise, he has no reason to, so let's buy a plant box. She did check his pockets for seeds. What did we get? Ooh, tulip. Nice. Let's just grow tulips. Hi! Hi. GeekCon. Hmm. Let's go to GeekCon. We might find an alien there. We may. We might. We may. We might. Alright. We're here. What do we got? <laughs> Normal Sims. J. Hmm. Wait a minute. <gasps> oh, only explore space? But but I want to um go to the planet. <laughs> hey look! Lilo's here. This is a save file where I did the experiment, so we might see Ren, we might see Lilo, we might see We might see some other people from my other series as well. What is she eating? A hot dog? Really? When there's this- Oh. I was gonna say when then there's- When there's this abundance of other food? Buy swag, wear festival t-shirt. Hmm. Welcome back! Did you bring an alien with you? Wait, 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 wait! Oh, but she's a girl though. Dang it. Let's introduce ourselves anyway. I kind of feel like 
If we know one alien, maybe more of them will like start to show themselves. I don't know, let's give it a shot. I love all these festival conversation things. Talk lovingly about cosplayers, argue about gift pronunciation. Wait, no, don't art. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Don't let her leave. No, we need her to tell us that aliens exist. And why does she have a, sn a snobby walk? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the phone. Is this Eliza Pancakes? Y'all, she pregnant pregnant though. I wonder who the baby daddy is. Definitely isn't Bob. No way. Oh, oh, oh. Xenophilia from Discovering Aliens, behaving like the captain of the space journey. Okay, so she knows that aliens exist. Okay, well that's good. There should be more around now that she knows, hopefully. Because I think that's- a oh, who's fighting and why? <gasps> Are they fighting over this young thing, Jane Sparks? Why are y'all fighting? Why? <gasps> Savannah Esparza, oh my word. Girl, I mean, okay. Never in a million freaking years would I wear this outfit. Ever. Never, ever, ever, ever. I would never wear those shoes, or those socks, or those leggings, or this skirt. I mean, this looks like a comfy crew neck, but the hat? Never. The heck am I even doing here? This is like my really old sim self. Extremely. But what were you guys fighting about? I'm so curious. What happened? What happened? Please, I'm dying to know. Did he insult your mustache? Did he say that it looked too similar to your eyebrows? We will never know. What's this? Order drink, order drink. Fool, what are you trying to do? Well, unfortunately, I'm not seeing more aliens. Which is unfortunate. So let's go home. Okay. So she's uncomfortable because she got a bug bite from being outside. You're fine. Can you come over here and plant these though? So Patchy can come off his stoop. There we go. That's better. I hope I can see you soon. Probably not. Actually, wait, no, don't water them. So Patchy will come off and do it himself. I need to keep an eye on the people walking by. Why is everyone pregnant? Oh, that's Eliza Pancakes too. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, this lot is annoying. Uh-oh, someone left their fruitcake someone probably came to our house but we weren't here so they just left the fruitcake on the sidewalk sorry we were out trying to meet people i have to at least get pregnant by someone in this episode at least one of the creatures or i'm gonna be very sad did someone really just come and take a slice of the fruitcake that was left really really johnny zest Someone famous at the lounge. I guess so. It's not like we're doing anything. This is actually a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, I know we can go to Forgotten Hollow and meet a vampire there, but I think there's only two vampires. It's, uh... What is it? It's, uh, Vlad and Caleb. I always have babies with Caleb, and freaking Vlad is definitely not an option. I'm sorry, he's just not. So let's see who shows up here. Ghost tonight? We can have a baby with a ghost. Um, maybe we'll see some aliens there? I wonder when alien night is. <gasps> That'd be a sure way to meet one. All right. Let's see who shows up. No one showed up to the lounge, so that was a bust. I like how since it's alien night, or ghost night I mean, all the appliances are broken. <laughs> that is funny. Girl, can you like invite some of your alien homies? Jeez! 
Does your back hurt with those things? Ghost night isn't very fun, is it? It's just ghosts freaking breaking everything. Another bust, guys. <sighs> no special sims at all. I feel hopeless. No one has watered these plants unless Patchy has been freaking waking up without us seeing. No, no, no party halls, no. No, no, no. I watched you today with some new equipment. Can't wait to see what we do tomorrow. Okay, Joe Goldberg. Well, if tomorrow's love day, that means the next day is egg day. So we'll meet the bunny. Oh God, hi everybody. Um, welcome wagon a few days later. That doesn't make any sense, but y'all can come in if you like. Thanks for coming. Hope you like the fruitcake, it's a family heirloom. How long has it been sitting in your attic? <laughs> oh, you know what we can do? We can kill one of these sims. But how? All of the other ways of killing sims is way too hard. So we need to go to... Oh, wagon. welcome wagon needs to end first. We need to go to the city. We need to eat puffer fish nigiri. Oh my gosh, she actually likes the fruitcake. I guess some kids like it and some don't. Isn't that interesting? I don't want to just lock a sim in a pool or in a room because I feel like it's too easy. It's cheating. Well, I think it's time to be going. See you around. Thanks for hosting. You're welcome. Bye, guys. One of you is going to get murdered by me. I don't know who yet, but it's going to happen. Okay, we need to go back to Sam My Shuno. And I'm pretty sure the puffer fish nigiri is in the spice area. So let's go over there and see if we can find it. Cause she has to eat it first and then she has to learn the recipe. I hope she doesn't have to have a high cooking skill. We might have to cheat that skill. Yay! Okay, okay, what you got? What you got? What you got? No! I need the puffer fish! Off we go to another uh, district of the city. Let's try the arts district or the arts quarter, whatever you want to call it. I just... Buy produce? Really? You can buy produce here? What do you got? Ooh, ice cream and vegetables. That is so cool. Um, let's get some vanilla ice cream. I have never made my Sims get ice cream before. Oh, it's in our inventory? Okay, let's eat it. Oh, how cute! Oh, in two bites? Really? Fool, you're gonna get a freaking brain freeze. Okay. Uh, oh my god, it's not here. Oh my gosh, Lumpia though? Lumpia is my jam. What's this? Sweet and simple from eating vanilla ice cream. Wow, okay, we got our Lumpia and they closed. Mmm, I love Lumpia, you guys. You don't understand. It's one of my favorite foods ever. And of course, the freaking booths. Closed. Where do we get the puff puffer fish, you guys? Where do we get it? Why is this challenge so hard? I thought it was gonna be simple. I thought maybe we could knock it out in one episode, but no. But no. Oh, look, this guy's selling his um little element things. How sweet! Ooh, ooh. So we learned the recipe for Lumpia. Ooh, she's back. Same stuff though. All right, there's one more, one more quarter little borough area to visit. Or oh, actually, there's two. Let's try this one first. Oh, <gasps> I think this is it. I think this is it because it's got ramen. Ooh, yeah. Come on, open it. There we go. Yes! Puffer fish nigiri. Get it, girl. Eat it so you can learn the recipe. 
looks like as her Chinese fingers. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. What is your personality type and why is this so boring to you? I would love to be doing this. Enthusiastic, creative, sociable, free spirits who can always find a reason to smile. Writing, creating, and appreciating art, playing musical instruments, listening to music, participating in community theater, and reading fiction. Hey, that makes a lot of sense since she likes music. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We learned puffer fish nigiri. Let's go home. Okay, so let's see what happens when we make it. What quality is it going to be? Because I made her cooking skill to level 10 because I kind of thought we needed that. Excellent. Ugh. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Before you go off to read that book, let's turn your uh, skill back to... Honestly, I think it was at zero. Because you haven't cooked anything. Okay. Let's try this again. Poor quality. Okay. <sighs> okay, okay. Uh, should we make it, like, go off through the night? Like, get nasty and then serve it to someone? We need to decide who we're going to serve it to. Who don't we like? Who do we have the lowest relationship with? Ooh, Genji. We have negative with Genji. Oh, is this the mustache guy? Okay, we're going to invite him. Ooh, Bob. Bob is also super low for some reason. Oh, these two are as well. I think I'm vibing killing Genji, though. Time to get up, get nice and fresh. Time to kill a sim, time to meet Grim Reaper. Freaking patchy, though. Can you please come off your stoop? I'm actually begging you. All right, 7 a.m. Time to come over and eat some, is it not spoiled yet? One hour, one hour, one hour, okay, okay. Hi, I just wanted to squash whatever bad relationship we have. Um, you know, it's not worth it for us to fight. So let's just make up. Is it off yet? Come on. I'm not used to killing sims. Killing sims isn't really my thing, but this is necessary. You know, it's necessary for the challenge. There we go. It is spoiled. What? You can't call it a meal when it's... That was not good. Oh, you really can't call it a meal if it's spoiled. Okay, whatever. We'll just cook more. That was such a bad belly flop. I'm so stoked that we were able to freaking catch that. All right. Oh, oh, is this poor? Okay. Call to meal, but you don't grab any. Yes. Yes, my king. Eat it. Eat it. Accept your fate. Beware, eating low quality pufferfish nigiri or eating in a bad mood may cause a slight case of death. That's what I'm hoping for. See, you think everything's all fine and dandy, but we tricked you. Girl, what? Is that the good quality one? Okay, yeah, you're fine, you're fine. I mean, look at his plate compared to her plate. There's definitely something wrong there. <laughs> Are you gonna die? Can you hurry up and die? Here, eat this. Oh no, you're sick. Oh no. I'll order you some meds. Oh my god, he didn't die. Oh! Okay, okay. Um, let's try again. 
We'll make more because I threw away the rest because I didn't want her eating it. And no, 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 you do not get to escape death. Ask to hang out. I'm sorry. Did he really leave? No, he's there. Okay. Ask to hang out. Ask him. Okay. Now let's let's get him like mad. Ooh! Padgy, you're alive! Oh my god, yay! Yes, Patchy! Okay, okay. So much is going, um... Attempt to steal his money. Oh! Are you in a bad mood yet? Get in a bad mood. Get angry. He's still confident. Come on! Okay, maybe we should try again. Patchy? Why can't we call it a meal? Oh yes, okay, call to meal. But Patchy, not you though. No! No! Don't! Jesus, that's risky business. Only you. You gonna die or what? Oh, it doesn't look like he's in a good mood. <gasps> we did it, guys! We did it, we did it, we did it! We killed our enemy! Goodbye! Goodbye, 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 Genji. We're just using you to get to the Grim Reaper. Hello, baby daddy. Hello, future baby daddy. Mm, forced to end Genji's life? <gasps> wow, that's some dark stuff. I think we'll just leave it to you to do that, though. Up with your chin, dude. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. We we need to introduce ourselves. We didn't do all that for nothing. Ah, yes, friendly introduction. We just need to know him. Hi. Hello. Soul, I cannot wait for my next promotion. That comes with two scythes. Nice, two. So you can like kill people like double. He's romantic. Oh, how perfect. Let's try flirting with him then. Oh yes, queen. Don't go. You may not go. No. This is so hard. Ew, his freaking thing is out here. No! Ah, whatever. Wow, every time we ask Patchy for gardening tips, our level goes up. That is crazy. I apologize, my camera sometimes cuts out without telling me so yeah if my face cam cuts out every so often that is why well wait a minute today should be bunny day okay okay so that's how we can end this episode with uh getting to know mr bunny um i can't believe we're not pregnant yet what the heck i thought it was gonna be so easy but it's not even close to being easy. What the heck? Our friendship doesn't depend on being physically together as long as we understand each other. Love you? Homie. Oh my god, what are you gonna do? Freaking faceplant again? Oh, you didn't actually. Proud of you. Faceplant? No, belly flop. My mistake. I didn't realize that we couldn't ask the Grim Reaper to come over and hang out. What are we supposed to do? Oh, Patch is awake. What are they doing? Oh, <gasps> you guys, they did that all on their own. 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is perfect. This is perfect! Get that romance up. I'm so proud of you. Oh, it's not doing anything for their romance? That's just great. Oh, yeah, it did a little bit. Okay, cool. Um, um, okay. Uh, let's flirt. Let's get that romance up. Okay, I'm having them risky hook up in the closet. Ooh, the bunny's here! Yes! Wait, where'd you go? Oh my god, they got fireworks. That is so sweet, but where'd the bunny go? Oh no. You guys, it was here and then it just disappeared. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. One pregnancy in this episode is good enough for me. But I'm tripping. Where did that bunny go? It was here and then it just disappeared. If it doesn't come back. Oh my god, what are they doing? Woohooing again? Bro. Okay, I'm really upset. Y'all saw the bunny come and then just disappear on the sidewalk, right? That wasn't just me. No, now we have to wait until next spring for the bunny? Shoot. Oh well. It is what it is, I guess. Well, I am so happy she was able to get pregnant. I kind of knew Patchy would be the first one. And then I have to figure out a way to get Grim Reaper over here. I just don't know how. Let's see if he asks us on a date. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. I was going to end this episode, but we can work on our romance with uh, Grim first. The last time I went on a date with Grim with a different sim, he just like bounced right away. So we didn't even get to have our date. But uh, let's see if this goes any smooth smoother. Um, let's just flirt with him right off the bat. Sexy pose, kiss hands. I think he likes us. Aww. Ew, kiss those cold dead hands. Yes, girl. Okay, this is going really well. It helps that he's romantic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened there? He doesn't like compliments? My work-life balances balance includes nobody else. No living body, that is. Uh-oh. There he goes. I'm still learning about myself. Hopefully next time I have things figured out. Aww. Poor Grim. Poor, poor Grim. Okay, well, let's head on home, and I'm gonna end this episode right here. We did pretty good. We have Patchy, and Grim's gonna be next. So, let me know what you guys think of this challenge in the comments below, and I can't wait to film the next part. I love you guys so much, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so, and I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye!